gorgeous day in Orlando, Florida, as All-Star Weekend 2012 officially tipped off. Hi, everybody. I'm Jared Greenberg inside the Amway Center. Here's what went down on day one. It's your daily zap. Players began arriving early Friday morning and hit the media circuit for photos and interviews. Comedian J.B. Smoove even managed to corral a few and have some fun. They called you the, the jet on a team called the Rockets. Evidently, you wasn't that damn fast. Because I'll tell you right now, a rocket is way faster than a damn jet. In other parts of Orlando, the NBA continued to celebrate its tradition and commitment to social responsibility with the NBA Cares All-Star Day of Service. Players helped to renovate homes and install a new basketball court in a local community. And as always, they were happy to do it. It's just us giving back to them what they give us, and that's encouragement, that's confidence, and that's support. Four! You know what I am? <laughs> Five! Enjoy, all right? Ricky Rubio earned himself a Guinness World Record for the most shots made from behind the backboard in under a minute, dethroning Evan Turner, who held the record for all of 30 minutes. Later in the day, the games began with the celebs taking the court for the 2012 Celebrity Game. Despite a significant height disadvantage and the occasional miscue, Kevin Hart managed to take home the game's most valuable player award. Over at the Amway Center, the NBA's up-and-comers took the floor for the first ever BBVA Rising Stars Challenge, where Team Shaq was pitted against Team Chuck. I feel very good about my squad. I thought we got a huge advantage in size. We just work hard. We'll be fine. Team Chuck got out to an early lead and never gave it up. Rookie Kyrie Irving stole the show with 34 points on a perfect 8 of 8 from distance and took home the MVP. Evan Turner and DeMarcus Cousins contributed big double-doubles for the Barkley squad. The bright spot for Team Shaq was big man Greg Monroe with 19 points and 10 boards. Lynn, oh, with a nice little fake in Jeremy Lynn. Jeremy Lynn added only two points for Team Shaq. And for Team Chuck, John Wall looked like he was in a dunk contest rather than a basketball game. In the end, Team Chuck came out on top, 146 to 133. Let the smack talking begin. Be sure to keep it locked all weekend long to NBA TV and to TNT for the latest from All-Star 2012. And of course, NBA.com has you covered. There you'll find exclusive interviews, and you'll also get behind-the-scenes footage. It'll be like you're right here in Orlando, and is accepted without all the humidity. We're at Amway Center. I'm Jared Greenberg.